Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. We've been selling auto parts for over 30 years. What's up guys, I'm Andy from 1A Auto. In this video, I'm gonna show you how we took out a broken cam sensor out of this 2008 Chevy Silverado. If you need any parts for your vehicle, click the link in the description and head over to 1aauto.com. Now that the sensor broke, I'm just gonna try to twist this completely around. Try to use some locking pliers. Just rock it back and forth. Oh. And now this piece broke off. Okay, so most of that broke, which isn't good. Uh, I can take this metal cover off here. Just slip that out of my way. There is an O-ring right here. And what happens is the engine block gets corroded and causes, um, causes corrosion in there and that's why it's stuck in there. You can use two picks. I'll just slide one under here just to hold the, hold the O-ring. And then take the O-ring off with the other one. Get that O-ring off. I'm just gonna spray a little more rust penetrant in there. I'm gonna try to get under where the O-ring was. Just try to pry out. I'm gonna take a couple pry bars and try to get under where the O-ring was. And just pry out. Now, if there wasn't so much oil in this area, I would try to heat it up with a torch, but there's a lot of oil that is leaking out of this engine. So at this point, I'm gonna try using a heat gun and uh, heat up the area. It's a little bit safer than using a torch, although you still gotta be cautious. So I'll just try to heat this area up. Some smaller locking pliers. Let's see if I can get it to wiggle at all. All right, I'm gonna try and take a drill bit and I'm gonna drill into the sensor. You don't wanna drill too deep, but, uh, and you don't wanna go too close to the sides. So, drill into the, drill into the sensor. Little, this hole a little bit bigger. You don't want to drill too far. We don't want to hit the reluctor wheel that the sensor picks up. All right, now I'm going to find a screw that works. Um, if you have a wood screw, that would work, or this happens to be a masonry screw. I'm just going to tighten this up. And that's pretty good. I'm gonna need something to pry, to try to pry the sensor out. This just happens to be a trim tool. Just gonna get in there and just try to pry it out. And I'm just gonna use a pry bar. I'm just gonna use a socket so I have some leverage. Get underneath here. And just try to pry it out. I'm just gonna try tapping this in a little bit. I don't wanna tap it all the way in, but just tap it a little bit. Okay, it's moving a little bit when I tap it in. All right, so the reason why it's stuck in there, there's a lot of rust buildup on the sensor, not on the sensor itself, but the corrosion built up on the case. So I'm just gonna take a wire brush, and try to get some of it off. I'm not going to get all of it off, but just try to get some of it. 
All right, so I'm gonna try this trim tool. Just pry it out a little bit as I try to spin it. So I'm gonna take this little slide hammer. I actually made this little slide hammer. If you have one, you can use it or you can make one too. I just took some threaded rod and some nuts and sockets. I'm gonna try to hammer this sensor out. a little more rust penetrant. All right, so I modified my slide hammer slightly. Just added a little more length to this so that I can uh, pinch on this bolt so it's a little more stable. And I added a little more weight to the slide itself. Try again. Right, just gonna tap it in a little bit. Try to get it out again. All right, I'm just gonna try to heat up the metal with the heat gun. All right, so I took the um, part of the slide hammer apart because it's really not working too well. Just modified this so that I can get a hammer and just tap right here, see if this works. to get an angle right here. So we're gonna try something different. Um, a couple of our other attempts hadn't worked, so we're probably on plan F or Q or Z at this point. So we just modified a wrench and we're gonna see if we can pull this out. Let's see what happens. All right, I'm gonna give this a try. All right, we're gonna try another thing. Uh, I'm just gonna tap it in a little bit. Spray a little more rust penetrant. All right. Try just taking this piece of aluminum right here. You could probably take a piece of wood. And I'm just gonna try to pry it out this way. Let's see if I can get anything. Oh, it's coming out. Look at it. There we go. Got it. So we made many attempts to try to get this cam sensor out. Um, some, some were working better than others. You know, in the end, we finally got it out. If you have any other ideas of how we could have got this out, leave a comment below. Um, maybe we'll use it next time. Thanks. Thanks for watching. Visit us at 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts, fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.